Hi, I'm Master Yikuan Kim. I'll teach you the fundamentals of Hapkido and various self-defense techniques. Let us begin. The position of the hand should be open, with the fingers extended and rigid. This position serves two functions. First, it expands the area around the wrist, thereby helping to loosen the attacker's hold. And secondly, it provides strength and energy to the hand and arm, facilitating the escape. As you will see throughout these tapes, the correct position of the hand is essential to the proper execution of Hapkido techniques. And again, like the concept of non-resistance, it is not something that comes naturally. It must be developed through practice. What follows are the five basic techniques for escape from a wrist grab. For the first technique, you will step into your attacker and drop into a horse stance. At the same time, turn your captured hand downward, applying pressure at the weakest part of his grip, between the thumb and forefinger. As your hand moves downward, pull free and bring your hand back until your thumb touches the inside of your thigh. When practicing, focus on three components of this technique. First, get into a good horse stance and maintain balance. Second, turn your hand downward against the thumb. And third, bring your hand back until your thumb touches the inner thigh. This will put you in the proper position to attack. Now, let's take a closer look. For the second technique, again, step into your opponent. But this time, raise your elbow to shoulder height, turn your hand downward against the other's thumb, and pull free. This time, bring your hand back until it is above your opposite shoulder. Watch closely. No attempt is being made to force the opponent's hand upward. You are not pitting your strength against his. Concentrate on raising your elbow to shoulder height, turning your hand against the thumb, and pulling free. In the third technique, you are again taking a step forward. This time, however, lower your elbow and push it toward the attacker. As noted above, when anyone grabs your wrist, the weakest point of their grip is the gap between the thumb and fingers. In the previous two techniques, you turned your hand and wrist into the thumb, weakening the grip. Here, the upward movement of the hand applies pressure to both the fingers and the thumb, thus freeing your hand easily.